How much yeah. does the fact that you come from a big family with a lot of siblings uh, help you to, to be, uh, I think you're very gregarious, very social, mm -hmm. no, no, like, you know, no walls, like, don't talk to me or whatever. You're <laughs> I have cool my and moods, relaxed, honey. Huh? I can lock myself up in a room, you know, and, and hide. But, yeah, I'm definitely very friendly. And it does have a, a lot to do with growing up with brothers who pick on you all the time and having to, you know, grow up in a city where, you know, you, you have to survive by making friendships um, to, to protect yourself from your environment. So, yeah, I mean, you know. Do, do you think there's a special chemistry between you and Ven because you grew up in a certain area similar yeah we, we we got that metropolitan area attitude for sure I think yeah it has a lot to do with that it has a lot to do with uh, growing up you know in an inner city and not having a lot of money to start with I think it has a lot to do with growing up and and you know being of race I think it, you know, for me, being of race and being a woman is a double whammy. <laughs> um, so, so, you know, the fact that we survived and transcended uh, our upbringing, I think, connects me and Vin definitely in, in, in a way that I think wouldn't have connected us had I been from, you know, a middle, you know, class upbringing from like, you know, Texas. You know what I mean? Scary. It probably would have been different. We would have related to each other differently and maybe not get along over the course of the last 12 years the way that we have. <laughs> In a way, you speak the same language. Yeah, yeah. From definitely. childhood, right? Yeah. And uh, let's see, uh, uh, a superficial question. Okay, uh, they want to know if you do diets and how do you train for this role. Letty seems very fit, you too. Uh, <laughs> um, I try not to eat junk for the most part, but right now I just found out that I that, that sometimes you know when you try to eat healthy it can hurt you too. Like eating too much fish can cause mercury poisoning. Um, but you know I just I try to I try to not eat junk. I think that's ultimately the end of it. And and I don't eat to eat. I eat to to sustain myself for energy. But uh, in, you know? in America it's hard not to eat junk food because. They're all these corporations, really. or if not? If you look it, at that stuff, like it, like the nasty stuff that it really is, it's not that hard. It's kind of like you know. Well, I guess you know. I mean, if you're a c cigarette smoker, I could understand. You know, you're putting this nasty, disgusting stuff in your lungs, but it feels good. I guess maybe the same thing for candy, sugar, potato chips, things like that. But I just don't like it. I don't like the way my body feels. I don't like the way it looks. The minute I start getting a little weird, you know, I'm like yuck. <laughs> so you want, yeah, that's great. You got to set your priorities straight. What do you want? You, you, you want to be healthy? You want to be clear-minded? Or you, you want to eat? You decide. <laughs> you you can eat properly and be cool. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, for me, a little balance never hurt anybody. I try to keep a uh, 32 waist. Yeah, work yeah. that out. You look that's good. cool. Yeah, yeah, man. For 58, that's not bad. 58? No? Yeah, loco. Tu que tinta el pelo. No, it's natural. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, that's good, man. Claro, claro. Work on it's it. It's all okay. falso. It's all fake. <laughs> it's all good. But it's cool. So, uh, London, how was your experience in London? I, I know through the franchise you've been all over the world, but uh, London seems like a, a new new beginning. Or I love London. I've been visiting London for the last 12 years, and I just love it. The people there are just so damn cool. And being there during the Olympics was amazing. Uh, just, just the culture was so together. I mean, it was a special time to be there, you know, um, 2012 Olympics and just the energy of the place is just really, really great. It's a metropolitan city. I mean, if I had to take cosmopolitan and metropolitan and clump it into one and, 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 and show a city that did it right, and they did a really, really great job. It's got its history. It didn't lose its identity. It's a beautiful place. Are we going to see you guys in Spain with the uh, number seven, maybe? Yeah, seven? that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Definitely, I'm. I'm, I'm sure it. 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 it the uh, incentive of of making a movie cheaply would be a great one in Spain. But uh, we we did shoot in in a Spaniard um, territory, which is the Canary Islands. Of course, that's so beautiful. we kind yeah. of vicariously. Or Tenerife, or <laughs> Tenerife or... Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of the island? Ah, oh, I thought it was beautiful. Very beautiful. 